LEGO Technic has a great history in excavators. Just remember the great excavator 8851 from 1984. It was a track machine equipped with first generation pneumatics. Some years later in 1989 the first backhoe grader 8862 came. A great model with many mechanical and second generation pneumatics based functions. It was my dream model when I was a teenager. In the next 10 years LEGO released only one new excavator, the 8837. A wheeled excavator very similar to the 8851. Then in 2003 another great digger was released on the market, the backhoe loader 8455. It was, as far as I know, the LEGO set with the most pneumatic parts ever. In 2010 a real highlight was released, the motorized excavator 8043. Yes, I know, there were some more diggers, but these are the most notable ones until today. Now LEGO continues its excavator line with the 42053, the smallest of the LEGO Technic sets for the second half of 2016. Can it proceed and is it a worthy successor? We will see. It is the first clamshell digger in LEGO Technic ever. And it's a Volvo again. As it seems the cooperation between the two brands is going on. The new LEGO set seems very to the original. It comes in an unusual box. It is relatively small and upright, nearly square shaped. The print quality is excellent. On the back you see the second model, also a Volvo. The building instructions will go online after the release of the set on August the 1st. Next to it LEGO gives a note that you can equip the main model with power functions. More on that later. Let's take a look into the box. It is around two thirds full. The instructions and the stickers come sealed in a plastic slide. Rims and tires come loose with a count of unnumbered bags. Here are the parts of the pneumatic V2 system with complete new pump and an additional small pump for motorized operation. It is time to build it.
I needed something around two and a half hours to complete the whole model. I would rank the difficulty as easy to medium. The single steps vary between adding just one part or just turn the model up to steps with medium complexity. All in all, the instructions are very clear and easy to follow. And what do you say? I think it's a small beauty. Okay, may you have guessed it, I'm an excavator lover. Also without applying the sticker the Volvo looks good from my point of view. The model has some nice details. At first, some pictures from Volvo for comparison. As you can see, the designers at LEGO did a really good job. Go, go is a state of mind. Let's take a closer look. The outriggers are, as you have just seen, operated manually, as the blade at the front, which is used as front outrigger. The two at the back are very simple, but very stable. For the blade at the front, I can't say the same. If you press a little harder, it buckles. The Volvo comes without fake engine and so all four wheels are freely moving. Steering is operated by hand of God steering at the back of the digger. The driver's seat is nicely built. Even the armrest is movable. Similar to the original, the model has three mirrors, one left and two right. The biggest surprise and attention to detail is a tow hitch. So we can expect nice mock trailers for the Volvo. The operator's cabin can be lifted and lowered, like in the big original. The pneumatic valves in the set are moving much smoother than those which came with the Mercedes Aerox. And so you can operate the boom more precisely. Also, without applied stickers, it's easy to remember when to use which valve in which direction. One point to criticize is how the hoses are applied. It looks a little unfinished. A good starting point to modify the Volvo. And while you're finishing the boom, you can add some tiles to hide the visible studs. Another point I like to criticize. Go, go as a state of mind. Not 
noteworthy is the wide range of the boom. From the deepest to the highest point, that's notable 36 cm. Remains the question, how does the new Volvo look in comparison to its precursors? It's clearly smaller than the 8862. Together with 8455, it's a nice couple of about similar size and scale. The 84.3 has totally different scale, so both don't match very well. Now let's add some power functions to the Volvo EW160E. You only need a battery box, a M motor and the LED lights from LEGO Technic. Then you have to disassemble some parts. But it's quite easy to manage. Most of the needed parts has already integrated while building the model. After the assembly you recognize, someone has gone the extra mile. This you can see on details like the connector which is right in place to hold the middle part of the LED lights. Assembled power functions, it's even more fun to operate the boom. So, what's my conclusion? It's a really nice model. All my expectations are fully satisfied. The small flaws doesn't matter much. And so the Volvo EW160E from LEGO Technic is a worthy member of the LEGO Technic Excavator family. If you like this review and want to see more, just subscribe to my channel. And may you like to take a look at my other videos. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Goodbye.